my name is renuka and i am uh, presenting one topic uh, from distributed operating system that is uh, message passing so uh, let's start uh, so here i am going to uh, present uh, two main topics in message passing system that is introduction of message passing system and second one is desirable features of message passing system uh, so our first is introduction let's see we know that program in execution is nothing but a process when two computers of distributed operating system are communicating means two process one or each computer are communicating means both are in communication with each other in uh, distributed operating system uh, the executing processes executing on different computers often need to communicate with each other to achieve some goal so for uh, this for the communication of two different processes running on different system there is a need of some mechanism and this mechanism is nothing but inter process communication it also called an ipc mechanism ipc has mainly two methods uh, first is shared approach and second one is message passing system message pa passing approach so here is our first approach that is shared approach in shared approach the information which is to be shared is uh, placed in a common memory area uh, which is accessible to proce all processes involved in an ipc uh, figure a shows the shared approach in ipc now here we can see the two processes that is p1 and p2 and there is a shared common memory area through which uh, both both processes are communicating with each other second approach is message passing approach uh, here uh, information which is to be shared is physically copied from sender process address space to the receiver's process address space in this this is uh, done mainly done uh, by transferring the uh, data in the form of messages so it is called as message passing and uh, figure b shows the message passing approach in ipc here there are two processes that is p1 and p2 which are communicating with each other now uh, let's see the exact meaning of uh, message passing it is a subsystem uh, of distributed operating system that provides a set of message based ipc protocols uh, this is done by shielding details of complex network protocols and multiple heterogeneous platforms this also enables process to communicate by exchanging the messages this also enables process to communicate uh, the exchange by exchanging the messages and uh, for that ex uh, for that there is uh, there are some primitives uh, uh, for sending and receiving the message and that uh, primitives are sent and received it serves as infrastructure for building uh, other higher level of ipc systems now uh, move towards the second point that is desirable features of good message passing system so uh, here uh, there are various features of message passing system first is simplicity second is uniform semantics third is efficiency fourth is reliability fifth is correctness and sixth is ordering delivery now uh, let's see each and every feature in detail first is simplicity uh, a message passing system is simple and easy to use it is straightforward for constructing new application and uh, to communicate with the existing ones here uh, it is also possible for the programmers to designate different modules of the distributed operating system second feature is uniform semantics uh, we know that for better performance the uh, semantics should be uh, clean and simple so message passing system is a uh, system which is uh, which has uh, uniform semantics basically uh, there are two types of inter processes first is local and second is remote in local the communicating processes are on same node and uh, in remote 
the communicating processes are on different nodes now uh, let's move towards the next uh, feature that is efficiency message passing system is uh, having uh, efficient having efficiency if it doesn't have doesn't possess efficiency then uh, it may uh, be it, it may become expensive for uh, designers to uh, design application it means it will become very expensive and they have to avoid that uh, uh, so there are some optimization that can be adopted for efficiency uh, these are uh, some optimization uh, can avoid the cost of establishing and terminating connections uh, can minimize the cost of maintaining the connections and uh, there is a uh, optimization that is piggy banking uh, in which uh, there are some acknowledgement of previous messages so that we can uh, communicate uh, better further uh, next feature is reliability distributed oper operating system are prone to different catastrophic events such as node crashes which may interrupt co communication and results in loss of messages so uh, and if ipc protocol can cope up with failure and ensures the delivery of message so that uh, lost me messages can also be handled if any uh, message passing system has reliability sometimes uh, messages are duplicated at the time of failures so ipc protocol has that capability so that it can detect and handle that duplicate messages next feature is uh, correctness so correctness is a feature which is related to mainly the uh, communication in between the groups so uh, what exactly happened in the group communication uh, in this one sender can send a message to a group of uh, senders uh, sorry group of receivers and can also receive a messages from group of several uh, senders if a system doesn't possess correctness then it may suffer from some issues so uh, here there are uh, uh, mainly two issues that is automaticity and order delivery so what is automaticity uh, automaticity is nothing but it ensures it is a, uh, a phenomena which ensures that every message sent to a group of receivers will be delivered to either all of them or none of them and uh, second is order delivery uh, this ensure that the message arrive at all receivers in a correct order by the application uh, the last uh, feature is survivability uh, this guarantees the successful delivery of message despite of all of possible failures so uh, here are uh, the introduction of message passing and uh, desirable features of a message passing system thank you